take y'all a ride on the fucking mine. Go for a ride. Boy, it's really rough in here. you out there to think coal mining is dead. Nah. Coal is still powering the world. If y'all think solar panels and windmills are going to supply us with electricity, think the fuck again. This fucking coal mining shit is where it's at and it's where it's going to be for centuries. We're going to be mining coal forever. And after the coal is all gone, we'll be burning limestone. That'll be the next thing we get our, all our energy from. Yes, limestone. It has like a gas that it, admit, that it emits and it can be burnt. So everybody, look that shit up and you'll see it. You will see what I'm saying. Look it up. Come in here. They got the drill in here. You'll see the drill. Alright, make this turn. It's a little rough in here. Here we go. Got the drill over here set up. Got his drill bench going. Be blowing the shit out of this here sometime. Probably, probably to, uh, probably this afternoon or tomorrow. So all those piles of, of dust on the ground, that's rock dust. That's the stuff that uh, uh, coal miners, uh, other than coal dirt in your lungs, you can get silica dust in your lungs silica dust will kill you in a matter of a couple of days if you inhale a whole bunch of rock dust it gets in there in your what they call your alveoli in your lungs that alveoli swells up when you breathe and when you exhale it pulls all the carbon not dioxide or uh, yeah carbon dioxide out of your blood you breathe it out and every time it expands it brings oxygen you know, the air you bring in goes in there and it oxygenates your blood and what happens is that silica will wrap itself around those alveoli in your lung yeah, fine. which there's millions of them it'll wrap around and it'll make them hard it'll make them hard and they'll start to collapse and then you won't be able to breathe you won't be able to bring oxygen into your blood and your brain so yeah but here's what we call the Waynesburg seam up here on top depends on what part of the planet you're in and what mine you're on will depend on the seam usually when they drill a core sample they'll uh, determine what seams uh, you're going to have plentiful coal. Uh, you need a couple feet of a seam. But usually, you know, we're getting whatever the fuck we can get, so the Waynesburg, there's usually not a lot on, and it's not real good. Because the deeper you get, the better the coal is, because the more pressure it was, it's holding on top of it and around it. And the shinier the coal is, the more BTUs it has, which means the hotter it's going to burn, the better it's going to burn, and the longer it's going to burn. I get that little, that little bit of, of learning. I'm, I'm 
we're teaching people things. We're, we're learning things here. We're learning shit on my, on my job. We're learning things. So that's awesome. But yeah, I haven't... I've been doing this on and off for the last 13 years. I may know a thing or two. But yeah, um, if we, we ever run out of coal, which is going to be a long, long time from now, it's going to be hundreds of years from now, but you can burn limestone. You can burn it. The power plants around here will burn limestone too. They're not just going to burn coal, but a lot of these power plants can burn anything. They can burn just about whatever you bring them. Some of them are turning to wood for some reason. I don't know why they turn to wood. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. But the most efficient, cleanest power you're ever going to see is nuclear energy. And everybody's scared of it because they think they're going to grow a head out of their shoulder. For some reason. I mean, there's, there's, uh, there is radioactive waste that comes from uh, uh, nuclear energy, but if you can use that waste to your advantage, you can probably make it as clean as possible. And they have things that absorb radiation and like kind of break it down. Uh, I don't, because I don't know what the fuck happened in Japan and over there in Russia all those times where they had, uh, uh, Japan had that uh, a nuclear breach over there. Um, a bunch of radiation escaped and uh, over there in Chernobyl, over there in Russia, they had that time. That town still, there's hardly any, there's like nobody living. I think there's some people living in that town, but but they have they have this stuff that will absorb the radiation. I'm not sure what it's called, but whenever you get like an MRI or, or an X-ray or something like that, they make you wear this vest. Uh, even at the dentist office, when they x-ray your teeth, they put this vest on you. And what it does, it, it's got uh, something in there that absorbs the radiation. So it's not harmful. It's not harmful for you. And your body doesn't absorb it because it's really toxic to your body, the radiation is. So. But anyway, any fucking way, I'm not sure what's going on in the world today other than... Uh, um, these these uh, border these people running across the border now are coming into California, and uh, there's just this, these small holes in the border wall in California, and they all know for some reason where to come through, and it's because our government is tipping off smugglers, and they're human trafficking, uh, along with drugs and uh, the cartels that are bringing drugs in. Uh, they're all bringing this stuff across the border because they know where to go because they get in touch with the Border Patrol. And our government's actually paying these people to bring these people in. So I'm telling you now, these Democrats are so desperate to win in the election coming up that they are willing to do whatever they have to do to win. Because they know mail-in ballots isn't going to do it this time because they cheated last time. I saw the video where they brought mail-in ballots in the middle of the night and just, you know, throwed them in the mix. You know, they these were mail-in ballots of people that didn't even exist. And they were of dead people and even they had even people's dogs' names on there. And it's, it's all crazy shit. And they're bringing all these illegals over to get their vote, to give them money they're trying to make them citizens, especially in New York City. They're trying to make them citizens. Uh, the people in Chicago, they're so fucking mad they could just fucking shit. And they're all standing up against it. They're sending the illegals out of their fucking city. And they're all running to California. Even those ones that beat the shit out of them New York cops. They have been in and out of jail so much. And they just release them on their own recognizance. They don't even have a bail post for these people. They beat the fuck out of two New York City cops. They have it on video. They beat the fucking shit out of them. They put them in jail for like 24 hours and they just let them right back out. So it's like, what the fuck? What the fuck's going on here? What the hell's wrong here? I got I got some trucks piling up behind me right now. So I imagine the loader 
that smart ass in the loader is on the way, that, that fat bitch, that fat fucking cunt whore in the loader is on his way. But anyhow, they're, they're all, uh, our, our government is paying these people. They, they are, this, this Biden administration, they're America last. America fucking last. And you see they're bombing the shit out of Iraq and Iran and Syria right now. Our fucking military is. They're doing this to get votes is what he's doing. They're doing this to keep that old fucking crusty bastard in power and the rest of these liars that are in there. They're trying to keep their fucking power so they can get reelected by doing all these tactics. Now, George Bush Sr. tried this with Desert Storm back in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s. He did this, and that's what he was running on. He was running on, hey, hey, I went over and stomped Hussein's ass, but we didn't finish the job. We just went over and bombed him a little bit and left. And when we left, and they were like, oh, we beat the U.S., we beat the United States, which, you know, they couldn't beat us if they fucking... I don't know. They couldn't beat us with their own fucking weapons and used against us. But he did the same fucking bullshit and he figured, oh, well, people will vote for me because he had taxes out of whack. He was raising our taxes and fucking with us and lying through his fucking teeth. And all that was, Desert Storm was a thing where it was for the election coming up. And it was to please his business partners. The Saudi Arabian government is who he's business partners with in oil. Because he's an oil tycoon, or he was. He's dead now. But uh, his whole family, they were oil tycoons. And that's why they went after Hussein. Because they wanted his oil wells that were in Kuwait. Because Hussein owned all the ones in Kuwait. So he got pissed off. He knew what, was Bu what Bush was after. And the, the Saudis were after all his oil. So that's when he set the oil wells on fire over there. We had our engineers over there putting them out. This was all to benefit the Saudis, that war was. And so was that shit, that 9-11 shit that happened when those planes hit the World Trade Center. They're saying the planes didn't even hit them now. So I don't know. They could have CGI'd that shit in there. But the plane that was shot down over... Uh, PA over there, um, that Flight 93, that was just shot down. They just shot it down for, I guess, shits and giggles, I guess. But they just shot it down anyway. And they said, oh, it had terrorists on it. They didn't have nobody on it but people. They were just a flight. They were trying to turn around to come back where they came from, and they shot them down. So, anyway, everybody, have a good one. Remember, vote Republican here in the election because the Democrats are trying to enslave us. So everybody have a good one. I'll see you on the next one. Ready? I ain't ready for nothing. <laughs> Alright everybody, like, share, comment, subscribe. And uh, have a good one. Welcome everybody to the Gordon High Performance Garage Channel. <clears throat> we have found, yes, we have found breaking news. We have found some more electric car fuel. We have discovered more electric car fuel. About ready to uncover it now. About two more minutes or so. Maybe less. guys are all safe. It won't reach none of them. Two minutes to blast.
two minutes. Oh boy, we're down to one minute. smells like rotten eggs like somebody farted right in your face ain't that something we're clearing her off now I would say the, the logical thing to do would be to go in from this way this road over here instead of Loading us on that steep ass fucking hill right there. But I know what's going to happen. They're going to pick that steep ass hill and have you sit sideways on that cocksucker. And that's going to fucking lick a whole lot of balls. <clears throat> they don't want to go from that side and work their way in because they'll be drilling this next bench. It's all clear. All clear. <clears throat> so. Not the all clear now. I guess we'll go down here and aggravate with this. Yay. <coughs> all I can say is it's it's job security. So yeah. But uh, on the other hand, uh, it's a beautiful day and very unseasonably warm um, February has been for the last couple of years it's been fairly warm which um, really surprises me but I guess I should keep my mouth shut and bite my tongue on that uh, they're predicting another cold spell coming which sucks ass and that's always brutal on everything at my house that cold just makes everything so brittle and just wears shit out. It's fucking horrible. That extreme cold I fucking hate. Now that I'm an old man, I really hate it bad. When I was a young kid, I didn't mind it because it wasn't wasn't so bad. But when you get old, it's it wreaks havoc on you. But anyhow, everybody, have a good one, and I'll catch you on the next one. Maybe I'll add a cold start in here on this. You never know. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and everybody have a good one. I'll see you on the next one.